The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in today's episode, my dad is dead set on leasing from Super Eagle. In this post from Facebook, a young lady says that her father is going over to Super Eagle. He reached out to her for 60 bucks to get that bus ticket over to Chicago, Illinois and jump on the Super Eagle bandwagon. Now, let me tell you guys something. Listen, first thing first, I do not have nothing bad to say about Super Eagle. The stories that I get is on the people that shares their experience with the company or whatever the case hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show me personally i do not have no bias towards the company i either like it or don't like it i know for a fact that super ego is not for me but it may be for you guys as i said before super ego probably might be your last resort a lot of companies unfortunately frown upon you guys situations and super ego just might be the company that might give you the opportunity to try to make your situation right hear the music my dad's been in the industry for over 30 years he is 60 years old and as you can imagine he should be able to get a decent job he recently went through a bit, a bit of depression and his finances fell apart. He worked at a 1099 place to make ends meet for a while. I got a text from him last week asking for $60 to get him a bus ticket to Chicago for his new job that he said would pay him $3,000 a week bring home. I gave him the money and asked what company. And to my horror, he said he was leasing from Super Ego. He went on to tell me how good of a company it was and how on average they make $3,000 after expenses a week. He's completely bought into the propaganda. I told him to look online to look at the reviews and what people say about the company. And he says those are all people who just refuse to work and think that a lease is just free money. The man has zero dollars in his pocket right now. He's getting a fuel card that will pay for 200 gallons, but then all of the expenses are his. How fucked is he? Proper fucked. Well, I wouldn't say that he might be effed in the situation. Again, there has been a lot of success stories out of controversial company Super Eagle, and there's definitely a lot of negative stories out of super eagle more so the latter than the former i'm just saying i'm just saying it's it's for him to go over there to drink the controversial company super eagle kool-aid and to see if he like it or not if the kool-aid is good i'm i'm sure he'll continue to hopefully find success over there and if the kool-aid is bad then i'm sure he's going to come back to you with his experience and i'm definitely sure that you're gonna come back and let us know how that went 
that's going to do it for this episode everybody thank you for listening if you have any stories of experience that you like to share with us on the channel you can do that by the gmail that is lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or if you like to leave me a dm you can hit me up at lockout men on instagram until next time everybody if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you wouldn't have none of y'all shit this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver